Hey, I'm Amy uh, here at Jimmy Bean's Wool, and I am ready to give you a tour of our retail space. So when you walk in the door here at Jimmy Bean's for the first time, uh, this is what you're walking into. And uh, the first thing you see are all of the colors from the Madeline Tosh Core 150 collection. So pretty, so rainbowy. And let me show you my favorite color, if I can find it here. It's hard to have a favorite. I've got a few favorites. Oh, there it is. Grasshopper, next to Jade. I love both of these a lot. Anyway, we're getting distracted. <clears throat> I'm good at that. Um, on the table here below Madeline Tosh are some of our new Della Q Makers bags. And these are the Weekender bags. And I actually have this one right here in mustard. And these are called the Weekender because they're kind of the perfect size for a weekend trip. Um, and one cool feature on the side of these is this little compartment here. And that's for your knitting. And there's a yarn feeder in there. So you can just open up the side and knit out of it, which I think is awesome. Uh, anyway, so here's the rest of our entryway. Some other of our Della Q Makers bags over there. We've got some uh, backpacks and Mini Messenger. This is the roll top here. And also super fun um, are little yarn garlands and yarn bombed bench. You're welcome to take a load off and sit there and knit for a few minutes if you like. Okay, then moving into the main space here. Oh, by the way, uh, we do require you to wear a mask when you come in and we've got hand sanitizer all ready to go. We are just trying to keep this a safe environment for everybody. Another great thing about being in the retail space here is that we have all kinds of uh, pattern support things that you can't necessarily find on the website. Um, so even more inspiration to figure out your next project. Uh, some Rowan, we've got the fuzzy Rowan yarns here, Alpaca Classic, which has such a nice halo to it. I really love this yarn. Kind of light and lofty, great for color work. And then another favorite, Kid Silk Haze which is felted tweed and kid silk haze are probably the best known rowan yarns. And then on this wall over here, we have Earth, which is one of my personal favorite companies. Um, Earth, Earth Yarns uh, plants a tree for every skein you purchase. So I think that is pretty awesome. Um, Harvest Worsted down here, these are actually all natural plant dyes, which I think is super cool. And the color names for all of them indicate uh, how they're dyed. So, for example, this one is color fig. So this was, I'm just kind of making this up because I don't know exactly what part of the fig was used to dye this, but it's dyed with figs, literally. And this super pretty color here, oh, those would look really good together, actually. Uh, but this one is color black grape. So black grapes apparently were used to dye that color, which is very cool. Uh, we've got monochrome up here, which obviously is like monochromatic, but it's kind of a, just an interesting tonal effect. And that comes in worsted DK and fingering and cotton, which is cool. And then over here, we have all of the, what are called uniques. And these colorful beauties also come in a variety of weights and they are self-striping um, and really, really pretty. We've got a lot of great pattern support for all of these uh, on the website too, so you know exactly what they look like when they're worked up. And let's see here, over here on the table, more Barocco. And that pretty much covers this room. Moving on. Okay, so back in our main room here. Let's see here, what do we have here? Oh, these are a lot of the pop-ups that we had from this past year. If you were playing along, every month we had a different brand new company to us. 
I mean, you can get some actually great deals on these yarns right now. They're mostly uh, marked down a little bit. Um, so you, and they're all just really beautiful in their own way. Our uh, cowgirl blues here. Uh, my friend Tabitha, who owns Long Island Yarn and Farm, obviously on Long Island. These are so these are like artisan yarns. These are so pretty. Um, a lot of other great stuff here too. Lots of adorable, adorable little llama things. We've got the no drama llama tissues. Lots of fun little things. These are our uh, shawl club projects from this year. You can actually still sign up for this, even though it's been going on for a few months. Um, but every month you knit a different part of the shawl, so it's just a fun year-long project. Little sheep yarn bowls, another little thing you're not going to find on the website that you can only see here in the retail store. Here's one of our accessory club projects for this year. That's another fun monthly club that we do. Ooh, Kuigu pencil boxes, which are little curated sets of minis. All different kinds of colorways. Ooh, I like that one. As you can see, it's really difficult to be an employee here because you just constantly want to go shopping. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, and then similar to the pencil boxes are the Kwegu paint cans, um, which are also just kind of a smaller amount of minis, but it's like painting with yarn. Um, here is our next room. Things get moved around a lot in retail, so I'm actually not sure what I'm walking into. We're gonna discover it together. Oh, this is some artwork uh, by my friend Connie Peng, uh, who is designs under the name Yellow Cosmo. This is her little artist statement here. So we've got some of her artwork hanging up around the store, which is for sale. And if you can see, these are WIPs or works in progress. So Connie does these really cool paintings and drawings of her knitting while it's on the needles, which I think is very, very cool. Um, ooh. These are giant 200 gram balls, if you can't tell of a pretty new yarn from Universal called Color Burst. And one skein of this is enough to make a pretty good sized project just all on its own, a nice scarf or hat and cowl set, and that's self-shading. And another giant skein of yarn here is Major from Universal, also self-striping, shading. More Universal Wool Pop, which was a new yarn for them this year. I actually just got five skeins of this color. I'm going to make a cardigan in this yarn. It's wool and bamboo, so it makes it a really great sort of transitional uh, season yarn. And then the uptown line down here, um, great for afghans, machine washable. And then uh, wool pop's sort of cousin, which is bamboo pop. This is cotton and bamboo, DK weight, um, also really great for spring summer projects. And it's really kind of cool. Um, and some of the colors, you can see how the yarn takes the dye a little differently because um, it's bamboo and cotton together. So the two fibers, because they take the yarn a little differently, that it just has kind of a marled effect, which I think is pretty. It's a little cute little top and bamboo pop. More llama art. And a sheep. Got some uh, surdar in here, which is great uh, kids and baby yarns some bamboo, cashmere merino silk, got a little lamb's pride over here in both bulky and worsted. This is a great sort of workhorse wool yarn, great for felting. And we've got some Plymouth over here, Encore worsted, which is a great staple for afghans and giftable projects, things like that. Uh, over on this side, we've got uh, some, I'm going to pronounce it totally wrong, but it's something like Shepias. I used to say Sheepies, and that's definitely not right. Uh, but we finally brought in one of their very popular lines, which is called Color Crafter. And this is a super affordable uh, anti-pilling acrylic yarn that comes in, as you can see, like a million different colors. 
And this is really great for Afghans and other projects, but machine things that you're gonna wanna machine wash. Um, but anyway, super affordable, tons of colors. And here's some more Shepias. Again, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, we've got the Maxi Sugar Rush down here, which is a uh, 10 weight crochet cotton. So great for lacy projects, uh, doilies, shawls, things like that. And then one of my favorites, which is Whirl, um, which is a gradient cake. And there are, I believe, a thousand yards in each cake, uh, which is sufficient for a pretty good sized shawl or scarf. Um, so with just one cake, you can make a really pretty project. So many colors. And then another favorite up here um, is the Stonewash, which is a blend. It's a um, like a tubular yarn, um, but it's just got this really sort of subtle stonewashed effect to it. And it comes in a worsted weight and also a bulky weight. And we also have some little minis down here, which is pretty fun. Ooh, here's a project in Whirl right here, actually. This is um, the Wonderful World Scarf by Michael Selleck. That's actually a free pattern that you can find on our website. And that takes two cakes of the Whirl. And that about does it for this room. Ooh, actually, here's another version of It's a Wonderful World. So pretty. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Moving on. All right, back in here to our main room. Lots of needles out here. We've got our hedgehog section, super yum. Love hedgehog colors. It's hand dyed in Ireland. Um, and then we have all of the Madeline Tosh. We have every base out here. And then as you saw in the entryway, we have all the colors out in the entryway. Um, so it's pretty easy, hopefully, to find a color or colors that are your favorites. But um, Triple Twist we have up here, which is a pretty new base. Um, it's an Aran weight. And I'm actually, oh, I was going to say I'm wearing a sweater in Triple Twist, but that's not true. I'm wearing a sweater in Vintage. But I have made sweaters in Triple Twist and... I like it because it goes pretty quickly, but it's not too heavy. But yeah, all the bases we have here, Twist Light, Vintage, which I am wearing, uh, Tosh Sport, we've got Sock, Tosh Mo Light, which has a little, it's like Tosh Merino Light, but it has a little mohair. I'm actually knitting a sweater in that right now too. Uh, TML Tweed, which is Tosh Merino Light with little Tweety bits in it for a little added interest. Love this yarn. TML Glitter, just sparkly. Tosh DK. Got Prairie, which is the lace weight. Pashmina, which is the cashmere blend, which is super soft and it's just a little added luxury. Impression, which is our silk mohair lace weight. It's great for together or a really popular thing to do with this is to use it as a carry along with another yarn. Uh, Farm Twist, which has kind of a hand spawn look. Hero Sock. And last but not least, ASAP, which is a bulky weight, single ply bulky weight. And then here in the center of the room, there's so much to look at in here. Uh, these are some of our beautiful Mother's Day uh, cowls, little bouquets that come packaged in these adorable little mason jars. So great little gift for mom or for yourself. Super affordable, and this is in Malabrigo. We've got three different color options there. Uh, just some other, you know, one of a kinds from Madeline Tosh. This little bucket here Last ones, it's the last skein that we have of these particular yarns, so you're going to get a pretty good deal on those. Um, up here, we've got a little assortment of Katrinkle stuff, and we've got a lot more Katrinkles online, too. These are some of her earrings and little key fobs, little branded Jimmy Bean sweater there. 
Um, here we have the Glorious Descent Pullover designed by uh, Andrea Rangel and Laura, who is our, who is Jimmy, uh, actually knit this in Tosh. Um, this is the worsted weight version. I'm working on a fingering version myself now in Euro sock. Very similar color story. Over here, we've got uh, some of the Madeline Tosh Shibui collaboration projects, which was a really fun thing that we did this year. Um, and all of the special colors that we developed. So Madeline Tosh and Shibui just came together and collaborated on a palette. So this is Tosh Marina Light in, what's this color? Big Sky, along with uh, Shibui Silk Cloud also in Big Sky. And then here's what they look like held together in that project. And you can find all of this stuff on our site. And this is another colorway. This was a crochet designed by Tony Lipsy. He was a lovely person, lovely to work with. And just some fun little goodies on this table, books, and we've got all the cocoa knit stuff out here, blocking boards and stitch markers and stips, stitch stoppers and needle gauges and all kinds of fun stuff. I especially like um, her newest product, which is this tape measure. I just think it's a really cute little shape and the, the actual measuring tape part of it is just super sturdy and it's just a great little design. And we still have two rooms to go. All right, so moving on here, off to our left is the Cascade Room. Again, I'm kind of learning where everything is when you are because it's been a little while since I've walked through here. It's a really pretty uh, shawl design by our very good friend Winnie in Miraflores. We have pretty much all of the Cascade yarns here and all of the colors. And if you've never been here before, but you're planning on coming, be prepared to be overwhelmed because <laughs> I'm overwhelmed standing here right now and I work here. Um, but just so much color, so much to choose from. Um, but uh, our retail staff here is here to help you make decisions or answer your questions. So it's always a good idea, I think, to have a little bit of a plan before you come in. Um, but if you don't, we're here to help. Some other little things that you're not going to see on the website. Cute little shawl cuffs down there. You could also wear them as a bracelet. More cascade, more color. Got our cute little toft amigurumis. I love these guys. I mean, check out that giraffe. Super cute. And then over here, we just have kind of an inspo wall. Just most of these, I think, were our pop-up projects from last year. So just a range of projects in uh, different yarns, different colors. And we may or may not still have the yarn for some of these, but even if we don't have the yarn, um, still we can definitely help you. If you like a particular pattern, we can always help you pick out a yarn um, that will work for the design. And that was this room, moving on. Alrighty, and we're about to hit our last room here. And let's see here, what are we gonna find in here? Ooh, two, two or three of my favorites at least. Uh, starting with Shibui. Over here, Shibui is hands down one of my favorite companies. Um, the yarns are just so beautiful. Just a really great curated selection of blends. And Shibui is kind of known for uh, mixing their yarns, so holding two yarns together throughout a project to make just really interesting and different fabrics. Um, I'm actually working on a project uh, that's going to be a swatch wall for Shibui, so I'm just working up same, different combinations of yarns held together. So you can come in and you can see what gauge you'll get with certain combinations, and it can really help you pick uh, combinations for whatever project you're looking to make. You can feel the, fa the fabric to see if you like it or if it's suitable for what you need. 
um, anyway, just super beautiful yarns. Nest is one of their newer ones, which is one of my personal favorites. I love the marled effect of this yarn too. But Shibui is one that you just kind of, if being able to feel it in person is really important and really helpful, I think. Um, and Shibui has lots of great pattern support. We've got a few, a few little booklets down here and tons of ideas on our website too. Uh, over on this wall, we've got Blue Sky, another of my favorites. Got the alpaca silk, baby alpaca. Gotta give that a little squeeze. Oh yeah. Wool stock, which is their wool. Very affordable, great colors. Uh, extra. We've got organic cotton. I'm actually about to cast on a sweater in orga organic cotton at our sweater club Zoom tonight. Ooh, yeah, here we go. Then we've got wool folk. Yum, yum, yum. So this is, this is far pronounced differently than that, I think, but um, I made just a really simple raglan sweater in the black colorway of far. Oh my gosh, this thing is like wearing a cloud. Love this yarn. This is a pretty new uh, brand to us, and I'm very excited we brought it on because it's just super luxurious. It feels so good. Uh, Wolf Oak Snow, which actually is spelled without the W. Um, so this is a fingering weight uh, marled wool and merino, not just wool, merino wool, and very special high-end merino wool. Um, and then it's counterpart part over here, which I think this one is tinned. Yep, this one is tinned and that is the solid color uh, counterpart to snow over here. And then up here we have loft, which is a chainette, super lofty. It's like a tube that has fiber blown into it. If you can kind of see here. Anyway, the, it's just very squishy and very light and lofty. Uh, but yeah, that is wool folk, love wool folk. And then on this end, we've got some beautiful colorways from Sweet Georgia in their Tough Love sock. This one's a really great seller for us. So pretty. Oh man. These two. So pretty. And let's see what we've got on the table here. We have some blue sky booklets. We actually have little uh, color chips for Blue Sky. So in case we don't have a color in stock on the wall here, you can see the full palette right here. So that's kind of another benefit of coming to the store. More pom-poms. And then we've got a lot of really cute Blue Sky kits. This hat here, which is the 21 color slouch kit. So if you order this, you get all of these cute little minis. And same with the 21 color mitts kit. 21 colors and also the 21 color scarf kit same deal all right well that wraps up uh this month's retail tour uh thanks for joining us and we hope to see you soon